Okay, traders, today's video is going to be a tutorial on our newest chart type, a chart type that is going to allow you to see volume in the trading areas that attracted the most volume in real time. And that is the session volume profile chart type. So sit back because we are about to show you how this new and super advanced and helpful chart type can be utilized. The first thing we are going to do is click session volume profile. We are going to wait a second or two and our chart now turns into a session volume profile. Now what's really cool about this, if you already know how session volume profiles work, is it gives you the capability to actually perform technical analysis on a chart that is specifically designed to show you volume and what price levels are attracting the most volume. And of course, you could probably develop a very unique way to utilize your drawings or your technical analysis to connect areas that are attracting tons of volume or very little volume to look for liquidity issues, slippage, anything of the sort. So that's the first thing we want to make sure you understand is what this unlocks. And what's especially important is that all of your indicators are also going to work on this chart type. So let's just throw up, for example, a moving average and let's do a simple moving average in this example. So we just searched moving average, there's simple moving average, we click. And now we're doing something that really can't be done anywhere else. We are looking at a session volume profile chart with a moving average on it that we can customize to our liking. Let's say we wanna do a 200 length moving average, 200 day. Pretty interesting stuff to see this long form moving average while we are watching the session volume profile in real time we can even shrink it as needed say to 50 but the point is that you can do this with any indicator that you please with this new chart type you can combine the magic of using a volume profile with your indicators and your drawings now that right there is a game changer and we believe many of you traders out there will find great use in this new chart type but before we go any deeper into these advanced concepts what's key now is for all of the new traders out there or people coming to trading view is to explain to you how this tool works in detail so that you know how to get started now we are looking at brk or berkshire hathaway if you know warren buffett this is the company that he runs and owns. It's what he's famous for. It's his conglomerate, Berkshire Hathaway. Dot B just means the B shares. We can see the price here. We're not showing volume, but we're actually going to add the volume indicator to this video because it's a very important way for you to understand how session volume works works. So what we're looking at, let's just go now to a candlestick chart, is not so much price action defined by where price traded throughout, in this case, the day, but instead we are looking at the amount of trades that happened at each price point throughout the day. So it's a very unique way to see what areas got the most trading activity. Where did all of the volume come in? Or perhaps where, where was there no volume? You can now see this quite literally in real time on any time frame. Now it's quite important that we now remind you that we are on a daily chart. Now keep in mind that this indicator, sorry, chart type, this is a chart type. It's quite literally turning your chart into a session volume profile. By the way, very important for us to explain. It is turning your chart type into this session volume profile for you to analyze. Now, here's the important thing to understand about this. It is a session volume profile. So let's break down what the word session means in this example. Well, if we have a session volume profile selected, our chart now shows a volume profile for every session. We are on a daily chart. That means a session is a day of trading. Now, if this was cryptocurrency, you know, that's a 24 hour cycle. If it's FX, depending on where you are, it's a different cycle. If it's equity markets in New York City, we are recording this video from New York. Well, then it's from 9.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. So our session is a full day of trading on the New York Stock Exchange. But we can change the session, say, to 30 minutes. And that means now that each volume profile that we're looking at represents still a day of trading. But what's different is that now it is showing us more granular data and it's even showing us the after hours and pre-market hours or the extended hours as well. But the key thing here is that you understand it is a session volume profile. So you are going to see the session for your specific symbol. Now you'll notice here we just did a weekly. Well, 
how can you show a session within a week? Because a week would, would include five days worth of trading. So it's a session volume profile. So it's very important for you to understand that depending on the symbol you are analyzing, when you select session volume profile, it is going to show you a volume profile for that entire session that you're interested in. Now you can see this right here. It says Monday the 9th, September 2024. That means this is all of the trading activity on Monday the 9th. We can see the price levels that attracted the most volume and the least volume. And then we can make better decisions based on that. Now let's dive into the indicator settings and then perhaps give you a few real world examples on how you can think about this. First of all, we're gonna go ahead and double click on the indicator, but naturally you could also right click and go to settings. And what we have here is symbol. Now, if you're familiar with all of our chart types, you know that the first step to customizing the specific chart type you're on starts with the symbol tab. So make sure the symbol tab is selected and now you'll see all of the customizations that you can add to this new chart type. Now we just wanna show you an example so you're fully familiar with what's going on here. If we go to candlestick charts and double click symbol, there are different customizations. That's because we are just customizing a candlestick chart. If we, for example, go to an area chart and double click, there are different customizations. That's because this is a different type of chart type. Now we have recorded videos on all of these chart types so you can learn how they work, but this video is going to show you now the session volume profile in great detail. So if we double click, let us now examine all of the features that you can customize. You can see here, you have this values box, and this values box is really all about customizing the way the values are presented to you on the chart. So you can actually, if you watch up here at the top right, you'll watch it change colors. You can see that? So this is really up to you. It's mostly a stylistic way for you to create a chart of your choice. We're just gonna uncheck this for now, and actually more so focus on the width, the placement, up volume, down volume, value area, value area down in the histogram box, as well as these key features to extend the line. Okay, the width is something that you can utilize to make a chart that fits your needs. Now, 100% is the max width. It is going to fit this session volume profile the best it can as a 100% fill within that session. So a session is a day. We can see the, see the time intervals down here. It'll fill that session completely. Let's say we do 25%. Look how the histogram changes, the session volume profile changes. Everyone has different needs for their charts. Everyone has different monitors, designs, looks and feels. You can customize this to your needs. For this video, we're gonna keep it on its default setting of 100 because we like to fill the whole session with all the volume because keep in mind, it's very easy now to spot the areas with the most volume. The areas with the most volume, very simply put, are the areas where the full box of the session is filled to the absolute, absolute top. Now we have our placement. We can feature this tool on the left or right. So let's say we click right. You're just going to observe that the session volume profile flips. Some people prefer this look and feel because it's easier to match it up with the numbers and they can kind of read from right to left. By default though, and the most popular setting among traders is the placement to the left because now you are looking at the price and the trading activity at that price and very easily matching it up with the price scale. Now, we're gonna remove the log format actually just for a second here to make the price scale a little easier to see because we have to talk about up volume, down volume, value area up and value area down. First of all, it's critical to know that up volume and value area up are measuring the same exact thing. They are measuring the amount of up volume at a specific price. The down volume and value area down are measuring the exact same thing, but they are measuring the down volume. Now, this volume can be described in many ways as a transaction that occurred from a high price down to a low price. So there's trading volume, but theoretically the price went down when that trading volume occurred. So we know that the blue bars might show us that there was more selling or that price was trending down quite often in that point in time. But you could also look at it as, wow, price was trending down, but it stayed above yesterday's highs, so someone was buying all of that up volume or down volume. The difference between these two key things in the settings menu, up volume and down volume, is that while they showcase the same thing, which is the amount of tradable volume, they simply are just presenting it 
differently. So up volume and down volume here are the areas outside of the value area. That's why they are a different color blue. The value area up and value area down are the areas where the most trading volume happened and they're filled in more darkly. They're supposed to showcase that these are very valuable areas of up volume trading from one low price to a higher price or down volume trading from a higher price to a lower price and the majority of trading activity happened in that darker area. Lighter area, less volume. Dark area, lots of volume. And what you can see, by the way, with this, which is quite important, is that you can customize your value area volume. So by default, it's set to 70%. That means we are asking this chart type to show us where 70% of all trading volume occurred and to make that the value area up and value area down. Make it darker, easier to see, showcase it to us front and center. Everything outside of that 70% is gonna be lighter and grayer, just as you can see here. You can see this in real time if we change our value area to, to 100% to essentially just, hey, show us all of the trading volume to be the same color. Well, now look, it's all the same color. If we want to just look at a very specific part of trading volume, say just 25% of all trading volume, where did that occur? Look how much is grayed out or lighter here. And look at these dark bars here, just darkly colored. It's 25% of most the area where the trading volume occurred. Let's go back to 70% by default, give it a second to adjust. And now you understand that we can change these colors. Another opportunity is that if you just want to see all the volume and you don't care so much about the difference between up volume and down volume or value area up or value area down, you can effectively change them all to a very similar color or a color that you think helps you visualize markets in a better way. The choice is ultimately yours, but the point here is that you have the ability to focus either on the key percentage basis where all of the trading volume occurred or majority of the trading volume, or to see it all as one straightforward color. Now we're gonna undo all of this, and the reason why we're going to do that is that we want to see our trading volume as it was. So let's just see here if we can undo some of this. There we go. Excellent. And now you can see here, we've gone back to our original playbook here of making the session volume profile exactly as we want it to look. So now you're probably starting to understand this tool in more detail. And now is an important time to continue to go down the settings menu so that you understand all of these features. Now the histogram box, you probably won't notice at first glance, but it is important to walk you through it. The best way to understand this is to just turn the opacity up. The histogram box is the color, the filled in area, as you can see here, that makes up the entire session volume profile. Remember we talked about the 100% width? Well, that is essentially you filling in the whole session, that whole day. This is really specific if you have a certain look or feel that you're going for on your chart and that you like to utilize. So as you can see here, we can do this light color. And now we filled it in. You may not like this or like it. Just be reminded that these are the types of customizations that you have. So you can see here, the tool is quite advanced, but the deeper you go, the better you will get at it. And it's just something that is invaluable in terms of seeing where the most volume was in a specific session and if it's worth trading or if you should wait for a better entry or exit point. One of the more common things that traders will look for is the areas with the most trading volume because it makes for an easier entry or exit. It means there's just more people there getting involved. The liquidity naturally is going to be higher. You can avoid things like slippage. Now we're going to double click back into the chart settings because it's time to get a little more advanced and talk about the lines that you can look at. Now this is called the value area high. Keep in mind that we just explained what the value area is. It's the area where 70% of all the trading volume occurred. And this is the value area low. Now what you're going to notice is we added two blue lines to our chart. Those two blue lines are showing us the value area high and the value area low on this specific chart. We can also change the colors maybe to make it look more clear. And also let's actually adjust our up volume a little bit. Let's change this opacity because remember this is outside of the uh, this is outside of the value area. Let's make this more intense so you can more clearly see this that these white lines here represent the value area highs and lows 
And if we want to visualize sort of the barriers or the extreme points of where all this trading action happened, we can see that with these white lines here. What's also rather cool is that if you want to draw these lines out well into the future, you can do that by extending them across the chart as needed. Now, that took a long time to calculate because it's looking across a set of value area highs and lows and then drawing them. But the reason why this is rather fascinating is now you have all of these levels automatically drawn by the specific session and the value area high and low. You can use these as pivots. You can use these as support and resistance. You can use these as levels to watch. The choice is yours. Okay, let's go ahead and double click into this again. Let's go ahead and uncheck all of this, go back to the default setting. And now is probably an important time to cover the point of control. Now, anyone who has ever traded a point of control on TradingView knows its immense value. The point of control is where the most trading volume happened. And in this example, it's going to be the most trading volume that occurred in this session or this day. This is where the bulls and bears transacted in a great battle. The most sellers were here, the most buyers were here, the highest number of transactions occurred at this price. You can hide this point of control or see it quite clearly. You can extend it right across the chart. As we mentioned, you may want to just use your point of controls as automatic support and resistance levels. Then you can layer on your drawings or your indicators as we demonstrated in a previous video. You can see here our point of controls are being across the chart, drawn across the chart. These are these red lines. Let's change the color if we want. Now we've got these automatic support and resistance lines, each line representing a point of control for that session where the most trading volume happened, where the most bears and bulls sort of went at it. Let's not extend right. Let's go back to the default. And by the way, we hope that you can see all this. We're just utilizing our chart settings menu here to the left while keeping our chart open on the right. Now, the developing POC and the developing value area. We get quite a few questions about this. What it is showing you is it's connecting the lines together. Together, so you can see it develop over time. So we just checked developing point of control. We, I just explained to you what the point of control is. Let's make the line really thick. Let's also make our point of control red as well. Now check this out. The point of controls are literally connected as we go through the session volume profile. We can watch it develop in real time. Actually, look how beautiful this staircase is right here. We've got this wonderful staircase. And the magic of this chart is that now we can even perform technical analysis analysis on the staircase. And this can sort of be our support line of sorts. And when this point of control breaks, as we see it develop, we essentially get out. This is where this can be very interesting in the world of research, technical analysis, and drawing on your chart. Because for the first time, you can truly turn your chart into a full-on session volume profile and make drawings according to the sheer trading volume that occurred on the chart. Now we're going to double click again into this chart because we're not done. The features are really that extensive. Let's uncheck this. Now you learned about the developing point of control. Let's talk about the developing value area. VA means a value area. If we check this box, and let's make the line thick so you can't miss it, you now are seeing your value area, which is defined by, yep, you guessed it, the 70% that we have in our value area volume, and which can be easily seen, let's keep this at 70, which can be easily seen based off of the way we've coded our value area up to dark blue and value area down to dark yellow. Look at the way the blue lines are connecting and developing over time. They are connecting the value areas over time so we can watch it develop. Now we've actually got these boxes that we can envision with a point of control within it. You might want to utilize these boxes perhaps within your technical analysis or perhaps with, with swing trades or maybe looking for key levels that break or that hold. Very interesting way to look at markets, to have all of these boxes showing you the areas where 70% of all trading volume happened over these specific sessions. Let's double click again and continue scrolling down because once again, this is a very extensive indicator that can truly do some of the most complex charting and technical capabilities in the trading and research space at this point in time. Now, if you've stuck around this long, it means you're very interested in this tool and mastering it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is a session volume profile, and you have the ability to make a specific session that is custom to you or to your exact needs. So what we just did here is we did each pre-market, 
market, post market. And now, of course, if we were to go to our 30 minute chart once again to try to see the pre and post market, we zoom out. This is just so powerful. It is something that really you're going to love because now we have a session volume profile for this day of trading. But we can also see a session volume profile for the pre-market trading. What was this money doing in the pre-market? Before all this happened, before all this trading action happened, what were they doing in the pre-market? We have a session volume indicator that can show that. Sorry, even better, chart type. So important. In fact, just by making that mistake, we are illustrating the importance of this feature. And look at the amount of low volume here. It was a Friday after all, but someone actually managed to buy this specific stock, Berkshire Hathaway, at 447 on Friday after the close. And check it out. They're already sitting pretty. Very interesting to see this low volume at these low price levels. Maybe that is the opportunity to observe are these low volume pre and post market areas where you can really see what traders are doing in the after hours. So as we double click into this indicator, or sorry, chart type, it really is a fantastic feature to be able to customize this. You could look at pre-market only. You could, if you wish, look at market only, post market only, or are you ready for this? Create a custom session to your exact needs. This is where you can type in the start time, the end time, or even find the specific time zone for you. Now we're default to exchange. Well, we're recording this video from New York City in Manhattan. Naturally, we have the New York Stock Exchange, and so we have the exchange right here. But we're gonna keep this to all for the time being, it's because we want to look at the key sessions all combined into one for this specific symbol. Now volume, you've got up and down, you've got total. Now total is a rather interesting way to visualize the session volume profile chart type because it eliminates the aspect of up volume and down volume. It's specifically you just looking at total trading volume within each price level. If we double click and scroll down some more, we can see here that this gets even better because you can also do Delta. This means when you look at Delta, you can see the sheer difference in trading volume by buying and selling or up volume and down volume. It is subtracting the amounts from each other to try to show you how intense it was. And when you see all yellow like this or all blue like this, you can really see who's winning because you're subtracting the up volume from the down volume or down volume from the up volume to get a clear illustration of who is winning that specific battle rather than just seeing them next to each other. So this is all available to you right now at this instance, and we're going to actually change this to up down, that's by default, but you can really start to understand the customizations. Value area volume, we already explained to you. Rows layout, number of rows or ticks per row. If you prefer just to see the specific trading volume, then that is for you. If you are someone who charts ticks and prefers ticks, you can show the ticks, meaning the actual ticks in the trade. That is how the volume bars or the rows are being constructed. Let's go to number of rows because it's by default. And you can actually see it change here, by the way, in real time. So ticks per row or number of rows. And keep in mind, you get to customize the row size. So if you want the rows to be larger, in fact, let's actually do, or if you want them to be smaller, we're gonna do 100. And that means we want to see more granular data here in these volume bars. If we wanna see just a few volume bars, all of this session volume profile showing within five rows, it's now going to show us one, two, three, four, five, five rows for this session. It's gonna lump all the trading volume into an equally spaced way across just five rows. So five, 100, the choice is yours. By default, it is set to 24. So as we wrap up this specific video, we hope that you walk away with a complete and comprehensive understanding of this powerful new chart type. It is truly a game changer in the way you can analyze trading action, trading volume within a session format. And also, really, if you scroll down here to the data modification, you can even access some of the tools that you're used to, like adjusting for dividends, charting extended hours, with the session volume profile, changing the colors of the extended hours, which we already showed you earlier, precision and time zone. So 
this tool is so comprehensive and powerful. It's really going to unlock a whole new way you analyze markets. And the fact that it is a new chart type is what makes it really special. Because now, as you see here, you can create a fully custom volume profile specifically designed as your chart type, showing you all of the volume and value areas you need to see, all while showing you these specific lines to match up, to see on your chart, and to perform your research and technical analysis. But where it gets even better is creating a fully custom session to really spot unique price movements that no one else can see. As mentioned, look at this across all specific sessions, or break it down into some sneaky sessions that only you the person with your training view account and access to this tool can see. We demonstrated pre-market, post-market. You can spot some very interesting trading action in there that really isn't seen by the average trader. So remember, this video is for education, it's for tutorials, it's for analysis, and we hope that this video helps you get started. We look forward to hearing your feedback and seeing how you use this tool.